Oh, here's another cool thing that I wish I knew when I was like kind of starting off. You can set views just like we can in the 3D model. We can set views in the definition. So once you like at, at first we were kind of doing small definitions that are like three or four things. But once you start getting more advanced and you're doing like big definitions, you'll spend a lot of time scrolling around. So you do have um, this little map that lets you move around like quickly. Um, but let's say I want to always be able to move my window to here. You can zoom in there. And then if you go here to add name view, you can also do it up here under view, store current view. And we can say this is like, you name it, original panel. And then that's kind of like what it is. And then we can like, keep working we can get over here and you can be like oh man I need to go back it's gonna be saved right here and if you click that it just like warps you over so that's like if you find there's like key areas of your definition that need to be saved that's a really easy way to kind of navigate around uh, a lot of times like you forget to do that and then you just scroll a lot um, so 